dear Lord, our help and our strength. We thank you. Even when we feel like we are not doing enough, you still protect and guide us. We don't know what you have done to deserve this blessing from you. You kept us from Monday to Wednesday. Even in our unfaithfulness, you have shown us that you are grace God. We bless your name. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Wednesday, May 17, 2023. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia, it's an every language. Alleluia song, we never say so our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is God wants you to rest. God wants you to rest. And we first find the book of Mark 6, verse 31. I read. And he said unto them, Come ye yourself, apart into a desert, please, and rest a while, for there we are many coming and going. And they are not lecture so much as to do it. And he said unto them, Come ye yourself, apart into a desert, please, and rest a while, for there were many coming and going, and they had no lecture so much as to eat. Rest is very important to God. He rested on the seventh day after completing the work of creation and also blessed the day, especially Genesis 2, verse 1 to 3. God went on to design various categories of fresh period for man. In Exodus 35, verse 2, God ordained a weekly Sabbath of rest that was observed on the seventh day in the Old Testament. In Leviticus 25, verse 4 to 5, God also ordained a seventh year Sabbath of rest when the land will not be cultivated. The people and animal will also take their rest from family activities for a whole year. Surprisingly, Exodus 31 verse 14 says, Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is only unto you, everyone that devils. The virus shall surely put to death, for whosoever does any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Rest is so important to God that he placed a heavy penalty on devoters. Despite the advance of this holiday, the nation of Israel continued to be more prosperous than their neighbors that did not have the tradition of taking any rest. This is due to the word of God in Psalm 127 verse 1. Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman walketh, but in vain. Therefore, Walking around the clock every day will not make you richer or more productive. Jesus Christ showed us the importance of taking good rest in Mark 6 verse 31. When he told the disciples after their very first missionary tour, Come ye apart and rest for a while, David almost died in battle because he failed to rest. His commander later said, Thou shalt go no more out with us to battle that do quench not the light of Israel. 2 Samuel 21 15 verse 17. Many people, even ministers of God, are dying from stress induced health challenge due to the lack of adequate rest. But then, rest is divinely ordained, refreshing and rewarding. I personally ensure I incorporate rest into my itinerary no matter how tight my schedule may be. Indeed, you will even be more productive after resting adequately. Below, just as God wants you to be diligent, He also wants you to rest adequately. Really? I want us to read the book of Numbers, 
8, verse 23 to 26. And our Bible in one year, 2 Chronicles 35, verse 36. Our aim is in 17. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. Our prayer point for today, Father, please help me to always take adequate rest for my labor in Jesus' name. Father, please help me to take adequate rest for my labor in Jesus' name. And I pray, heaven will guide you and will put you through all the journey of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Ready? This is the word. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button. Share it with your friends and family. And the goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.